Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today guys we are playing the Sun Spider because I wanted to play something that has some mid or long range punch that is supplemented with some lasers. And we're gonna take the Sun Spider because it's actually pretty good at what I had in mind. Now, what are we doing today? We have a Gauss PPC combination uh, amplified by the damage of four ER medium lasers. The Gauss PPC combination is a little bit old school. Usually you were going with uh, two Gauss rifles and one PPC or one Gauss rifle and two PPCs, but that's not really possible anymore because of heat scale limits and ghost heat and all of that. So you get a huge heat penalty when you do something like it. The idea of the build is that the PPC syncs up very well with the projectile speed as well as the range of the Gauss rifle. So you can deal some good pinpoint damage over long range. And uh, that's um, how we combine them too. The build is supplemented by the four ER medium lasers, as I was saying, so we can also shoot at about 450 meters range to get additional 20 damage. Actually, it's not 20 damage here. What am I saying here? We are playing with uh, with the clan ER medium lasers, which is 26 damage, actually, and that's pretty damn cool. Uh, speaking of cool, we have a good amount of heat sinks, so the heat management is 1.54, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. Three tons of ammo, and uh, we also have a good amount of heat sinks in the engine. What I like about the Sun Spider, by the way, is that it is a quite tall mech. It towers above your friends so that you can actually shoot above them so um, that you won't, um, you know, get so much team damage in and uh, you still have good line of sight to the enemy while you have some smaller friends before you. Now, let's take a look at the uh, at the skills before we dive into the games. I have laser duration, I have magazine capacity and additional velocity here, as you can see. And we also have maximum survivability. We weren't going for operations here because I think the mech is already cold enough. If you want, you can basically probably take some of those velocity nodes out. Cooldown is a thing that I wouldn't sacrifice. Rather maybe half of the survivability tree to put it into operations if you want to be more aggressive and less defensive. We have 60% rated deprivation as well as an artillery strike and two cool shots and that's the build everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming and if you have that don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you want more of that and now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Grim Plexus. We are playing Conquest. We're gonna go to the center of the map. Uh, just because I want to see if I can shoot somebody at Theta. If not, we're gonna shoot into the Gulf 6 area where the enemies are coming from anyway. And yeah, we have some good, good long range. My plan, by the way, is to do the good old Gauss Charger PPC combo. You charge up the Gauss rifle and then you click the PPC button when you release the charge up uh, button for the Gauss rifle. Makes sense, right? Because then your, your projectiles will fly at the same time something like that now you only need to hit your targets <laughs> and that's the thing I saw somebody and it doesn't seem that anybody is capturing Theta so we're gonna stay here on our high ground we're gonna stay here in safety and see if we can do that for example see that is the plan his right side torso is already very damaged nice pinpoint I really really like that Ooh, he's doing a PPC LBX combination all right all right so, yeah, we're gonna go for the night here. Something like that. And, yeah, this is basically what we do all the time here. Oh, okay. I uh, overestimated his his mobility, his movement there. Oh, a little bit too high. Alright, so we're gonna go over here once. Because I might be able to shoot those guys. And now it's time to regroup with the team. Because they converge over to the left side. And I don't know... I don't want to get my, my sniper to cease here. My, my uh, staying in one spot for too long, focusing down the enemy. And completely ignoring that my team is uh, already rotating. And then getting pushed to death and then dying. That is not good. Try to not get there. Always take a look at the minimap every now and then. So that you can uh, follow up on what your team is doing. Uh, I will go with them here over to the center of the map. Because I also want to shoot my... Oh, come on, really? <laughs> My medium lasers, that is. Okay. I think that's a good spot for me. Nobody will see me. I said nobody will see me here. <laughs> okay. That guy really doesn't like me. Uh, any more targets here? Doesn't seem like it. I mean, there's one guy on the right side, so it seems. Um, yeah, we will see about that. I cannot shoot here, sadly. Uh, they have a UAV up, so I should probably take that out. That was not good. We'll do it with the lasers then. Oh, come on. I know, shooting enemies is better than UAVs, but that really helps. Alright. 
So, let's keep going. We have actually a good spot here on the right side. We're gonna go over here because I don't wanna brawl. I wanna stay out of the thick of the fight most of the time. I'm only going in when I have to. Okay, Cyclops one shot. Good job. I'm on the warhead on top now. So his side torso was uh, shot there. He's running flamers. That's interesting. Okay, there's that. Left side on the Niger. Left side on Bravo. And we get there. Down he goes. Perfect. Grab in the back. Sure, we'll take that shot. And it is two and one. That's interesting because it looked like that we dealt way more damage to them than uh, they dealt to us right now. Uh, the Banshee is coming in again. There's still a Timberwolf on the right side. I'm not entirely sure if I should defend this here. I should. I also need to hit my shots more. That's the thing. Ah, oh, come on. Let's go in then. I cannot get an angle right now and I want to contribute to the fight and I'm cold, which means I should be shooting at this moment. Otherwise, I'm not, again, helping uh, to actually win the game. The UAV tells me, by the way, that there's only two enemy assault banks, so the top is clear so far. I'm gonna go in here. There's a guy back there. Didn't mean to shoot there. It's kind of awkward. Okay. Let's do it. I'm gonna go for the big guys. Ouch. Double Gauss from the King Crab. Nice return fire. I don't want to block you, therefore I was backing up so hard. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. There's one guy. Get him. I'm gonna help out here now. Oh, that's a good target. Come on, side also destroyed. Perfect. Let's go and try to kill him now. I think I'm gonna pop my cool shot again. I have to, kind of. King Crab is down. Uh, let's keep shooting those guys there. I mean, it's kind of weird. Sometimes I'm missing very obvious shots and then I make that snapshot and it connects to the enemy. It's so, so weird today. But hey, you gotta go with the flow, right? What I really like about the scenario here is that we not only have the kill advantage, but also the capture advantage. That's damn good. Uh, Hellspawn is most likely XL, so we're gonna try to get him. And that is the Enforcer from the early game. Got him! And yeah, that's how we win the game, guys. I like this combination. With the medium lasers on top of the uh, other weapons, the PPC and the Gauss Rifle, it's kind of toasty. But uh, your main weaponry, uh, the pinpoint damage, um, completely heat neutral. So you can start engaging very early with that. And Stormcrow is splat. And he has a friend. That's the last remaining two enemies. Um, but yeah, if you... If you Take it super slow, you can't shoot forever unless you run out of ammo for your Gauss Rifle. But yeah, that's what we have the medium lasers for, to amplify the damage even further. Okay. See, that's what I mean. That was a very obvious shot and some somehow I completely missed that. Alrighty. Uh, let's go for the Crow, if we can. We cannot, because everybody is dead. Oh my God. And that King Crab didn't really want to give us the angle, which is fine. He got the kill, nonetheless. <laughs> Making a victory dance there. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see what we did here in total. I think it's not too bad. We got two kills, two kill most damage dealt, seven assists, 676 damage done, as well as three components destroyed. That's the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing a sold on the Termaline Green. Desert. We're gonna take a look over to this area here because that's where the enemies are coming from. And yeah, that's the, the battle plan so far. We have some of our assault mechs in the back in Echo 7 and usually I wanna go to the Echo 6 spot because that is a wonderful position here. We have uh, cover which shields us from the right side. Uh, we are actually in the center of the map. It's usually the hotspot. Everybody's going there, so let's go there too. Uh, shall I go and try to contest those guys? I don't think that I'm gonna get an angle here. Oh, light man. Shot my PPC prematurely. Damn it. Alright. Okay, Piranha is half leg, guys. Try to kill him. Try to hit the legs more. And he's down. Uh, we get a hit and run. <laughs> Great. So, yeah, let's help out here. Maybe he's coming in again. Spot him. Uh, is he behind cover? Yeah, he's behind the uh, Fox 5 area already. Okay, never mind. What the? Okay. Um, yeah, great. Uh, we will go over here because I want to shoot from the Fox 5 area into the Fox 6 area. They also have a UAV up, thanks to the Piranha earlier. And there they are. Hi, I got you. I got your leg, buddy. That's a great artillery strike. 
Go for the leg on on Bravo, please. Legs on Bravo. It's a Warhammer. Let's see. So uh, shoot his legs a little bit more, uh, and we got him. Okay, so Bravo is left leg crit uh, done. Right leg is still there, guys. Bravo. Warhammer. Okay, we're gonna go over here and actually try to finish what we started. I mean, this Warhammer is not really um, in the game anymore. Banshee coming down. Okay. So he is out of position and he is lagged. But maybe, maybe we can destroy him. Right leg on Bravo. One shot. Two shot, actually, but let's go for it. That should be it. Okay, cool. I think it was worth it investing into that kill here. Taking a little bit of return fire. But yeah, Kid Fox is there. Nice to have you, Kid Fox. I cannot see, but I can hit. That's good. Echo, it's a Hellfire. Hellfire is core Echo. Let's go for... Uh, I wanted to go for the backliner the there, but I couldn't. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting here. Uh, we have to regroup with the team, that's the thing. I right, stopped moving. Sadly. I think Lance is going through Delta 6. What is he doing? That's Echo, that's the guy that we shot before. No, wait. Huh? Wait, I'm, I'm confused. We targeted somebody else, but it is the guy that we shot before. Come on. Almost. Yeah, we're gonna turn around and help out here. Uh, I'm going for the Banshee. Uh, it's Foxtrot. Check Foxtrot. Center towards, let's go directly for center there. He is trying to rock me down. Get the center on the Banshee, please. Uh, light mech coming in, urban mech. Oh, good hit! Uh, we have light mechs behind us now. I need some help here. We got a kill, but it came with the cost. It came with the cost of internal damage. Oh, and there goes my side torso. Holy moly. Guys, what is going on here? Was that a critical on my Gauss rifle and it ripped off my side? Or was there just massive firepower coming in? There was a grasshopper. I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, that was the piranha. Yep, that was the piranha. I really want to get that guy. I want to finish what I started. Sadly, I'm pretty pretty down on... Uh, pretty low on, on everything, basically. Uh, heat management, uh, weapon systems, general firepower. But I think we can bring it to the end. Arctic Wolf is cored. Nice. Kill him. Please. Let's see if we can get a hit on him. Okay, Urban Mech dies the moment I'm shooting him. Team is pushing forward and we are 6 and 4. Here's the thing. We destroyed a lot of firepower already. Yeah, that came out of nowhere. Um, it doesn't matter. Let's uh, keep going. Let's keep watching. Yeah, we did our part, definitely. Uh, we... We... Destroyed a lot of firepower early on, and now it's just us uh, on us to finish it. Guys, they have nothing anymore. Just push in, push in together, and you win the game immediately. We still have a full powerhouse with rotary auto cannons. That thing is gonna tank. They are distracted. Go in and kill them now, guys. Let's go. Um, yeah, yet again, our powerhouse is still standing massively strong while the enemies, again, they have nothing anymore. We dealt so much damage already in the, in the early stages of the game that at that point, although we are quite even on uh, the kills here. We should just go ahead and brawl him down. Nine and seven now. I mean, two heavy larges on the Kid Fox. It's crazily hard. But he's doing a wonderful job. Nine and eight now. Guys, use your armor. Share, share your armor. That's the thing. I mean, when I'm saying push in, I don't mean rush into the fight mindlessly. I'm just saying we have the upper hand. Work together and you will get things done. Uh, there's one sniper in Echo 7. Echo 8. Echo 8 is a sniper. So just destroy the cicada and then you can deal. It's a Nova with, I think, AC2s in uh, Echo 7, Echo 8. Let's see. The Rotary 2. Ah, not good at that range. Not really good at, um, at fighting a mobile target there. Heat Fox is getting lagged. Oh my god, guys. Can you bring it to the end? What are you doing? Fight together and you win. Fight alone and you die. Well, they're not out of it yet. Okay, we got him. All right. Now it should be an easy, easy task to destroy the last guy. Sonova with AC2 is last seen Delta 7. So, let's see if my team can bring it to the end. Kind of an awkward scenario here today. Yet again, I was shot and focused and I got killed. But that is sometimes how it goes and um, I don't mind investing my mech for the greater good. And uh, yeah, let's see. Please play smart. It would be so great if you did. All right, the enemy is capping the last remaining one, and yeah, our Kid Fox is engaging already. I don't know if that's smart. He 
just couldn't wait for the big guys. He just really wanted to go in, but let's see. Maybe the Nova has uh, the edge over our Kid Fox here. Maybe it doesn't. And okay, now he's waiting before he is engaging. Yeah, That's really good. Together. You're all beat up. Yup, 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 yup. I mean, at the same time, the, the Nova is extremely damaged already. Which is... Oh, it's the Hellfire. Oh, he's cored. That was the guy. He's so damn damaged. You can't do it yourself. Honestly. He's cored. Just aim for center. Yeah. There so... That's the thing. I thought it was a Nova, but honestly, yeah, okay, it was it was a Hellfire Not in the end. For first adding this. Yeah, nice job, everybody. Let's take a look at the end score before we're gonna wrap it up here. We got two killing blows, seven assists, five kill, most damage dealt, and that's what I was talking about earlier. We dealt 629 damage only, but we had the enemies so damaged in the critical areas, and that is um, what should have given us the edge over the enemy in the very late game. So just reaching out and grabbing the kills when they were uh, offered to you is a thing that you should do in a tough scenario, in a very tense scenario, where the kills, uh, the kill number are quite even. You just gotta go in and just grab and finish them. Uh, we got three components destroyed and that is it for today everybody. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you don't, then don't leave a rating. But if you did, then do leave a rating and subscribe to the channel if you want more of that. I hope you see you on the battlefield guys and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.